This is the Coleman Quad Chair, the most popular camping chair on Amazon.com. Let's take a look at it and see how it is and I'll tell you one thing about it I really don't like. Stick with me. for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel, the channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all, comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at the Coleman Quad Chair, their camping chair that's in the $35 range, and we're gonna see if it's a good value for the money, and quite frankly, if it's something that you should add to your camping gear. Now, the 10 chair, that's just a, like a patio furniture chair that we got from Walmart or a patio furniture store years and years ago. We've got several of them, and that's what we've always used when we were camping. The reason being, they're super comfortable. The problem though, and why I started looking for a traditional camping chair, I'm gonna show you. See how much bigger that is? in terms of like throwing that in the back of the trunk of your car, if you're car camping or in the back of your trunk, compared to the way that the Coleman chair uh, packs up. So the Coleman chair is much easier to travel with. So what I do like about this chair is that it's got a lot of features. You've got this right here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like an insulated pocket or pouch where you can put a drink. It's got a drink holder here. Um, it's got another area right here where you can store stuff, you know, watch, a knife, whatever you want. What I don't like about it, though, is that for whatever reason, and I don't quite understand, the way that the poles are designed, it puts pressure on the back of your legs. And the way that you sit in this, it, you kind of fall back into it rather than being supported. The other thing that kind of bothers me about this chair is that the back is pretty much straight up erect. So you can't, there's no kind of reclining with this chair. Whereas the other chair, the patio furniture chair, um, all you feel is the cushion when you're sitting on it and the back is slightly slanted back. So what does that mean? Am I gonna take this chair back? No, I'll probably keep it. I mean, it's good enough to keep, um, you know, for the money, it's a fair deal. Uh, you know, I think it was about, uh, don't quote me, you can check on hardcorecampinggear.com for the actual current price that these are selling for. I think we paid like, I want to say 35 bucks. So I'll keep it, but I probably won't buy another one. I'll use it, but I probably won't buy another one just because I'd like to test a few more to see if I can find one that would be a lot more comfortable. I have a hard time seeing myself sitting in this for a couple of hours. It's just not that comfortable. In summary, for about 35 bucks, it is a decent camping chair. You're getting $35 worth of value. Is it comfortable? Eh, not really. Is it uncomfortable? Not really, but it's a decent value for the money. So, you know, if, if you're going camping this weekend and you forgot that you need a camping chair, run out to Walmart and you drop 35 bucks on this, this camping chair, I don't think you'll be sorry. But on the other hand, if you have some extra time, you might wanna try uh, some other camping chairs to see if you can find one that is maybe a little bit more comfortable than this one. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, we've got links to all of the camping gear that we review at hardcorecampinggear.com. Also, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell. And feel free to share this video with your friends or any groups that you're in on Facebook or other social media platforms. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.